Hey there everyone. Welcome to Technisha. In this video, I am going to introduce the concept of spark lines to you and how they could be useful in giving a quick snapshot of information. For example, in this table of data of sales per month by each salesperson from January to June of a particular year, the columns I4 to J9 shows individual performance of a salesperson with a miniature chart inside the worksheet cell itself. How do we do it? Let's get to it. Here is the sample data of sales per month for six salespersons in a company. Once you get this data, the normal way of doing a chart would be just plotting them. Uh, let's say you select them, go to insert. Let's pick a recommended chart and this is an example chart. Now, though this chart is giving you good information, but as the number of reps increase, this would become really confusing and will not be intelligent. It would be really tedious to put an individual chart for each member as that would mean a lot of charts. An easy way to get around this is to put spark lines. What is a spark line? A spark line is a tiny chart in a worksheet cell that provides a visual representation of data. For example, now we have a data of the rep Liam. If you want to put it in a chart, we could always insert a chart and see this information for a salesperson. Similarly, we could get the charts for the remaining five. Wouldn't it be great if you could put the chart right next to the salesperson? That's where spark lines could be of use. So let's just select the cell I4, insert right next to your charts, that is a spark line option. Click on it and let's select a line. We need to then select the data. So that is the sales from January to June and just say okay there you go you would get the performance of a rep right into the cell i4 we could just copy this data down and this would give the individual reps performance in each cell now these charts the cells are individually scaled so the value 982 and 1821 seem to be at the same height to overcome this, we could change the axis and say that the both minimum and maximum value is same for all the spark lines that we've chosen. This data will then be scaled equally for all. In addition to the data, we could also add some markers like the high point, let's put it with a green and a low point, let's put it with a red. Right now, both the high point and the low point of each individual will be shown within the chart. Another spark line we can add is the column chart. So let's just select the cell J4, go to spark line, put a column, again select the data. Let's just select the same data and just say okay. Copy paste to the bottom cells. Again, we'll keep the axis same for all the spark lines. And let's just put the marker color as green for the high and red for the low. So there you go. For each individual's performance, we have a visual representation right in a miniature chart form in the next cell. Spark lines are really useful in scenarios where you have multiple rows of data and putting all that into one chart is not feasible. Using spark lines to plot the data for each individual gives you a very quick pictorial guide of how the performance is there for each individual and will also help you in getting some trends across the same months. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.